Can you customize the tooltip to add extra information? Let's tackle this week's Workout Wednesday challenge. I have a workbook pulled up over here. I've got the instructions just copy and pasted into here. And this week we're going to explore a new table, uh, the uh, MLB stadium sales. So I believe it is a home game one that we want. All right, so we can see our game key, date, and uh, opponent team, win-loss, all of the good things that we're looking for. So we'll select this one. And I know that we're going to be creating a bar chart, so I'm going to do that real quick by creating a child visualization. And I'm just going to pull this up by our instructions so we can see everything in one screen. All right, a pretty simple one. We're just going to do basically the count of attendance by the date. So let's pull the date into the x axis and the attendance on the y axis. All right, we can see again, this looks pretty similar to what we're looking to build, but we do need to change the Vismark colors to be coloring whether or not we won or lost the game that time. So to add a color by category, I'm going to choose this option and then I'm going to select the win loss, pull that up into this category or the color by category. I'm going to copy and just paste the hex code for this custom palette in here. Got the loss in there and then come over to the win. Oops. Just going to use the shortcut keys so that's faster for me. Again, going back to the win. All right, so we've got our win loss over here. Add a small heading title text element. That's basically just the title of the element. And as you can tell, we're going to do a bunch of the formatting things first, just kind of get this out of the way. I'm just pulling up the title on a different screen so I can copy and paste it in there. This is pretty simple. If, I, if you guys have been following along with us, this should be familiar by now. Small heading, title text. There we go. This size element, at least 2020. That is the number of, so you can see here when I'm pulling and resizing it, there's a number box that pops up there. We'll leave that for later because so I can keep my instructions over here on the side. And now we want to match the viz element title and legend placement. Again, I've copied the title in here. I'm just going to paste that title in there. And now we need to move the win loss over to be under the title here. It's pretty simple. Again, just select the viz, um, come to the element format, and we want the data. Whoops, not the data labels, the legend. And we're going to do this as top left. Now we've done basically all of the formatting of the viz itself, and we can see that we do have a lot of the information that we're already looking for in the tooltip, but we, the challenge for this week is to match the tooltip to only show these three things. So win loss of the color icon, attendance as a whole number, uh, which basically just means a number with a comma, no decimals, and then the opponent for each game. So one thing that is not on this list is the date. So there's two different things that we're going to do this week to customize the tooltip. The first one is going to be obviously removing the date, like I said, and then we're also going to be adding the opponent into the game or the opponent for each game into this. This is a really helpful way to reduce clutter or add extra information into a visualization that might be helpful. Our viz would be really overwhelmed if we tried to include the opponents for each bar chart here. Maybe there's another one where we can do it by trellis or we could color by opponent if that's super interesting. We can always try that out later. But for now, the first thing we want to do is remove the day of date. And Sigma makes it really easy to customize the tooltips for what is already in what information is already in the chart or in the visualization that we're looking for. So we're just gonna come to this downward facing arrow and uncheck show and tooltip. So that's how you remove something. Any columns or information that's being used to create the visualization. So again, our dates, anything that's on our X axis, Y axis, our colors, that's gonna be defaulted, added in here. So you can always remove anything by going to the downward facing arrow. And then the other thing that we can do is add information to the tooltip. 
Um, so we've looked at the color marks and now we're going to look at the tooltip. And I'm just going to scroll down and uh, find the opponent column. Pull that in here. So Sigma defaults it to being a, um, an aggregation because it is, is a bar chart so we can see the count of opponents. Um, but Sigma makes it super easy. All we need to do is adjust this uh, formula by basically removing the count in there. We can see that it does Sigma automatically is labeling this as an additional one, basically just saying, hey, these two things are different. If you were to pull that field in again, it would default to aggregation. But there we go. Now we can see that we have one added and one removed in here. This can be a really helpful way to add in extra information. Like I said, if you want to create a custom label. So for example, if you want to say we won against this opponent when our attendance was X number, you could create a new column in here and if you remember any of our dynamic title text challenges, it's basically the same thing where you're creating or concatenating a sentence, and then you could pull that into here, and then you could remove all of these win-loss sorts of things. The downside to that one is potentially that you will lose the coloring, but I th that's kind of up to you in your scenario. In this scenario, I think since we do have it already labeled here, you could probably get away with it a little bit easier. But let me check if there's anything else. Attendance as a whole number. We can see that Sigma is already displaying this as a whole number. But if we need to, we can come down to this downward facing arrow and come to format and then do whole number. Again, just changing that here. You will note that it did change this one as well. So again, that can be something that's really helpful. And then last, we'll go through and just hide the data tab. I'm going to move, again, since I've got my instructions over here, I'm just going to select these two, move to a new page because that's faster for me to do. And I like being efficient. And then we would just label this one as data. And then we would hide that one. And let me take a look at this. And I'm going to pull up the challenge again, see if there's anything else that I missed. Looks about the same. I think the only other thing would just be increasing, whoops, increasing the size to make it be that at least 20 by 20. And all right, there we go. That's all we need to do for this week's Workout Wednesday Challenge. Thanks for tuning in.